Okay, evaluate 49 to the power minus a half. So when you have um, a number with a negative power, you need to write the reciprocal of it, right? In other words, 49 to the power minus half, you write it as 1 over, right? 49, and then the power changes to a positive, okay? To be positive half. And then you just need to understand what fractional powers are. So when it's power half, you are actually square rooting, right? And the square root of 49 then is easy, okay? Of course, it's 7, isn't it? And that's your answer. You've evaluated it and you've got 1 seventh. Part B then it says express um, 0 0.372 recurring there as a fraction. The first thing we'll do is we'll write this as x. We say, look, let x equals, write this out in full, so 3, and then 7, 2 is what's recurring. So the pattern starts at 7, ends at 2. So 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, and so on, right? Now, what we do then is, is that we scale this up by factor of tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on, until after the decimal point, we've got um, matching digits, which we can then use to determine the fraction. So if I scale this up by 10, multiply it by 10, then when you times this by 10, all the digits move one place to the, to the left. So you get 3.727272. Now, they're not matching after the decimal point because you've got a 3 then a 7 there. That's no good. So let's do 100x. Okay? So the original one then, if you times that by 100, it moves two places to the left. So you get 37. 3 and a 7 will move the other side of the decimal point. And then, of course, follow that. And it will be set 2, 7, 2, 7. 2727. Seven. Um, now they're still not matching, okay? Nothing matching after the point, so then they need to do a thousand X, okay? So essentially, then you move this three digits to the, to the left, 372 times by a thousand, moves three places. So 372 point, and then after the two, there's obviously then seven moves up to there, 272272. Two, seven, two. Now, if we look for matching, right, what you'll notice is this line and this line matches, okay? So we can match, pair them up there, all right? Okay, and if we take away 1,000x, take away 10x is 990x, okay? So that, take away that, yeah? You can see why you get 990x. And then you do the same on this side then. So we do this, take away this, okay? 372, take away 3, is 369. Okay, and of course then after the point, all of these will cancel because you have 7 take away 7, 2 take away 2, 7 take away 7, 2 take away 2, and so on. Matching means when you subtract then, they disappear, right? So you've just got lovely then, 990x equals 369, and to get x then, you do the fraction, 369, of course. That means 990 times x, you take it over and divide. Okay, and there's our answer. All right, no need to try and simplify it. We can leave it like that.